this video, I am going to cover inside Squarespace, how you can customize all of the colors of your website, the look and feel of all the sections as you build your website. And this process could save you tons of time because it's dialed in. It's a process I've used hundreds of times on building websites. Let's get into it. First and foremost, this is what you should consider. Right now, I have this design page built out, which just gives me a few of the options for the site on different backgrounds, different color patterns, all these different things. So I can get a feel of what is getting pulled and make adjustments accordingly to everything. So I have 10 different styles set up here that you can see. So if I go to design here and then go to site styles, now I can get into actually designing this out. And just as a side note, let me know in the comments below if this is valuable to you. I could set this for sale so people can purchase this page and have it ready for them. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to provide a link for you so you could access it for a small fee. Anyway, let's get back into it. Okay, so now we're in the site styles. What we want to focus in on is colors. Now, if this is the first time you're doing it on your site, you're going to want to start with this palette and adjust the palette and then go from there. This is why. When I go to like lightest one, this section here is lightest one. If I click here and I go show all, you'll see all these different designs here. But let's say this is all color, right? So let's say I want to change the section background. Well, you'll see here's the palette. So you want to make sure the palette is set right, because if not, you have to customize it. And let's say this is our brand blue. Well, every single time I want to adjust that, I have to like manually do it. So you want to make sure you set it up first and foremost. Let me change this back to white because I don't want that. So I can click this little X next to that dot and we'll be good to go. Okay, so let's go to edit palette. Now I don't have a palette defined for this, but I am going to work off of what I know. It's important to keep in mind that there's lightest, light, this is bright, dark, and darkest. Now, what I would say brand color number one should be bright, brand color number two should be dark. Personally, I don't need two tones of dark. I do like a gray, like a light gray, but I don't need two different or like a dark and a darkest. So with that said, here is where I put the blue. I would paste that there. And then here, I don't really have it. Like I said, I don't have a color palette defined. So I'm going to put the blue. Let me just scroll down. So you see, it's already starting to fill in this content here. I need to change that background. So I think this background here is the blue I just chose. So those are two colors sitting on each other. Looks nice, could be a little bit better. Okay, decent. Yeah, this is the darker color, which I think is nice. This doesn't work. I definitely have to adjust, make some adjustments there. And that looks great. Yeah, those sections look great. Cool. Yeah, there's some things this blue on this blue is not contrast enough. This is darkest, I believe. So this one might have to be a little bit darker. Yeah, just like that, even that helps. The links need to get changed, but we'll get into that now, okay? So now I've picked these five colors. Let me show you the tool that I recommend for this, which is going to be coolers. This designer is really impressive, or this developer slash designer is really impressive, but I would use coolers, the super fast color scheme generator, start the generator, you create an account, it's free. Basically what you do here is you pick one color that you really like. So I had this, this here's the hex code, let's go to, we just sell 100%, 50%. Perfect. So that's the blue I have. So what I do is I click lock here and I hit the space bar and it starts giving me other colors. Now, the thing is, again, you probably just want to stick with like a full black. You could do an off black, but stick with a full black. So I'm actually going to go here, full black. Let me change this back to hex code and full black would be zero, zero, zero. And I'll lock that and then I'll go here. And if you already have colors, this is just skip to the next section, but here, I'll do that and then I'll start playing with other colors. Right now it's working off like a full triad palette, I believe, but you could do generator method, it's auto. I may do monochromatic. So if I go off of that, it may give me better feels. So this may look nice, you know, like if there's a more of a tech feel would be in this realm. So, and I could copy that, paste it here. And this is actually really useful as well. If you click view shades, let me show you that again, this button here, this little grid. Well, you could just select a lighter shade. Boom, just like that. I like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to paste that and then view shades and then go darker. Perfect. Now I have all these different shades for this brand. So, and I'll copy this and I'm going to go back and add these to our current design. So if I go back to the palette and then I change these up. So this is the lightest. I just add a hashtag sign, paste that in. 
that will adjust that. And then if I go here, hashtag sign and paste that, that should be good to go. So if I go back, let me take a look how this looks. Okay, that looks fine. This needs a little work, but that looks fine. Oh, that looks nice. Wow. Yeah, those two blues go really well together. And there's still a high level of contrast. That's important. Cool, bright. That looks good. That looks great. Ooh, that looks nice. Wow. You see that? I literally just did that in five minutes. If you're not a designer or you just need to get your site up, this helps so much. So there's some other things I need to work out here. These, there's like other formatting things I need to work out, but those colors are so nice. The blues are really, really nice. And it's based off of one main color. So let's go to colors and let's start editing the sections. Now I'm not gonna go through every single section, but I am gonna show you what I like and what I focus on. Now let's go back to size styles. We're gonna go back to colors. We are just about prepped up now. Okay, so we could do lightest one. Let's go into lightest one. So if you click into here, you could start making adjustments to all the colors accordingly. So site title doesn't really matter because you usually you have a logo. So site title is this right here. In this case, I don't have a logo. So if I change this, if I wanted to, it could be blue or let's say this darker blue. If I wanted to do that, but for now, I'm just going to leave it for darkest. Navigation links right here. They're black. That's perfect. Section background. Okay, so section background and background overlay and then inset border. So there's three different things. If you have a background image, what's the overlay and the opacity here? I don't have any of those, so I can't really show that, but let's talk about section background. If I click here and I adjusted this, this would be the lightest background. As you can see, not ideal. So we're gonna keep this white. This is basically the main background of the site. What color do you want to choose for it? Background overlay for lightest one, for the ones, lightest one, light one, I'm going to keep the background white. For the other ones, I'm going to change it to an off gray and I'm going to show you why. So here's lightest one. That's all good. These are all good. Okay. Let me show you what I'm talking about with this background. And I'm going to do that by going to lightest two. And so for lightest two, show all site title changes it to blue. It doesn't really matter. Section background is going to stay white and set border is going to go to a light gray, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use that color first and then go to a light gray. Again, I could go back to our colors tool and use that, but you see this section here, if we use this color over and over again, let me copy it, in our site, we could have backgrounds that feel a little bit different. If you want to add this, like this border section here. So imagine if this one as well, we did like the lightest, for example, if we did this section as well, this inset border, well, if I do custom, and then I add this in. Well, now you see it kind of like flows with each other. So there's this clear break in sections as you go along. So it's a nice feel. It's not for everyone. So you could totally ignore this. I just will show that. And now I'm going to like revert back to the previous style. But if I were to do that, I do it for lightest two and I do it for every two. So if I go back to colors, I would do it for lightest two, light two, bright two, dark two, darkest two. Okay. Now let's go back and Let's go to colors. Now let's look at this. So lightest one, if I click here, this is really cool. It's really useful. It's very detailed. Headings, you have all four headings here. Heading one, two, three, four. I wish they just said that, but they say extra large, large, medium, small. So extra large here, if I change that, that's heading one. So perhaps if I wanted that to be blue, I could change that there. And as you can see, you could change those accordingly. Paragraph all of that. In most cases, I'm going to keep this. I'm just going to keep this as it is, I'm not going to make any major changes. But what you could know is like the links. So links in this case, heading links, if you just want them to stay the same color as these, you can just change it back to this. I don't have any examples on the site, so you can't see what I'm changing. And that's why it's important to have as many examples as you can on this page. But then from there, text link as well, you could click on this and adjust this. So perhaps if you like it to be a little bit lighter, that's a little bit too light. If you like it to be like that, well, it's easy to make that adjustment. Again, why the palette is so important as you are getting set up. Okay, so the next thing is buttons. We already set these colors, the background color here and the text color here. So that's good to go because we're working with a full white. It's perfect. So I'm going to go there. That's better. That looks much better, much more branded. But anyway, 
for now, I'm going to change these back. You don't want to customize again, like even myself, I'm like, I'm doing more than I usually would to teach, but I would suggest always erring on the side of less is more. Don't overthink it too much, but there are a few easy call outs. So for example, personally me, I don't like all of these headings to be this color. Well, let's not focus on that. Let's take a look here. This looks decently well. This looks decently well. I may end up changing colors here for the fonts, but we'll leave that for now. This looks good. Everything is basically, for bright one, everything is basically blue, but maybe I might want the fonts. Let's go to all. I may want all the fonts just to be dark. So there's a bit of contrast there, but let's make that adjustment. And then the link stays the same. That's good to go. Yeah, that's a little bit less severe. Here, this looks really nice. The fonts look really nice together. Here, this looks good, except here, the link does not look good. So if I go here, edit theme. As I click on the theme, you'll see this changes. So it's on dark one right now. If I go back here, it changes it to bright two. So I could come here, dark one, and then I could do show all. And then I look for the link, text link. Let's change this to white. It underlines it. So that works for me. Now it's full white. So that looks great. Okay, the buttons are there. So this one does not work. It kind of works. I would probably dark two. So what I would do is for dark two, I would probably change all of these to either white. Yeah, it's going to be white. So palette, there we go. And also I'm going to change the text heading link. Just I don't have any heading links here, but I'll just change that. And then I will also change text links to white because that will look much better. So there's that. But in background is the blue. The blue works still here, but if you wanted to change it, you could do, let's say a white button with the blue text. That looks nice. If you wanted to try this, it kind of looks like it's transparent. So it just, it looks like the text isn't, isn't there. That could be something to work on and to use. This one, I don't know if I'd even use. I really don't know if I'd use this, but it's there. I can make changes later. The footer looks much better with changing the links to just be white and just be underlined. Okay, so let's take a look here. Some other options you have here. Announcement bar. It's not showing up on the page, so it's not there. Galleries. No galleries on the page. Image and text section. So let's see. So this is the image block card here. And again, we're on darkest one. So there's so many ways to format this. But let's go up to the first one and make that adjustment here. So if I click here. And I go to image block card and I go to title. You could adjust things like this. So you can see there are a lot of adjustments here. Let's take a look. So we've gone through headings, links, buttons. Now there's the menu overlay. If you use the overlay feature, the announcement bar, galleries, image, blah, 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 list, sections. There are so many different options here. Now times that by 10. They try to make this easier. This is a little bit crazy. So I would not go into trying to customize every single one. What I would do is design stuff out at this point. Then from there, you could go through the process of what it looks like to say, maybe you don't like the link in this section and you want to adjust it later. Well, you could do that. So as long as you have the first 10 sections and then you go in there and start adjusting the color palette and then make a few adjustments internally, you have a lot to work with. So the site is already coming together in a lot of ways, color wise, and the feel is really nice. It feels branded. It feels personal by just changing the buttons a little bit, changing the formatting. There's a lot that's come to life in a quick amount of time. And now I will save and all those changes are saved. All right, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you hit that like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some really important information that is life or death. But more importantly, it tells me that you got value from this video. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one.